we have to explain why an increase in income leads to an increase in the price of a product. And we have to do that using a diagram. We could also ask you explain the adjustment process towards a new equilibrium if there's an increase in income. That sounds very sort of highbrow. How are we going to do that? Well, we know an increase in income leads to an increase in demand for products. So we start off with our initial equilibrium. I've drawn that in. Name the axis, demand the supply, initial equilibrium at the price of 4, quantity 3,000. Now there's an increase in income, and we know the increase in income would lead to an increase in demand. But we have to explain why do we move to this new equilibrium point? Now, let's see. At a price of 4, initially, we were at a quantity of 3,000. Now there's an increase in demand. If the price remained at 4, quantity demanded would have increased to 4,800. And quantity supplied, well, the price remained at 4, and quantity supplied, in other words, also remained at 3,000. So we find that quantity demanded equals 4,800. Quantity supplied is 3,000. So we have excess demand. Excess demand. Now, competition amongst bidders. There are too many consumers wanting this particular product at a price of 4 will force the price up, will force the price up. So there will be an increase in the price, the price going up. And as the price goes up, quantity demanded decreases movement along the, the curve. And as the price goes up, quantity supplied increases until, yes, until quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied and we have our new equilibrium price of 5. You were with me on this. At the initial price, we had excess demand. Competition amongst buyers will bid the price up, and that competition moves us to the new equilibrium price of 5 rand. 